What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find inscribed and circumscribed angles. And I'm also gonna teach you how they're related to each other and how you can use one to find the other, right? So let's start with this problem right here. So we have, as you can see, a red circle, and we have this angle right here, which is 135 degrees. And this angle is specifically known as a central angle. And we know that because the vertex of this angle runs through the center of the circle, right? That's why it's called a central angle. And we have this other missing angle out here, which is just labeled as X, and this is a circumscribed angle. And we know that because the sides right here of this angle, this missing angle, are tangent to the circle, right? And we can see that the circumscribed angle intersects the circle right here and right here. Okay, now one thing that you might notice about this problem is that this central angle intersects the circle at those same spots, right? The, the central angle hits the circle right here and right here. Okay, so when this circumscribed angle and this central angle hit the circle at the exact same two spots, that creates a relationship and one that we can use to find a missing angle, specifically a missing circumscribed angle, right? So the relationship or the formula, and I'm just gonna abbreviate here, the circumscribed angle is equal to 180 minus the central angle. All right, so to find this angle right here, X, it's gonna be equal to 180 minus the central angle, which here is 135. All right, so here we could see that X is equal to 45 degrees. All right, here's our next example. And as you can see, this time we're given the circumscribed angle, right? It's 30 degrees. And this time we're looking for an inscribed angle. And an inscribed angle is a little bit different from a central angle, specifically because you can see the vertex of this angle is on the edge of the circle, right? It doesn't run through the center of the circle. It touches the edge of the circle, okay? So this is gonna be a little bit different, but we can still use that same general formulas. So again, it was the circumscribed angle is equal to 180 minus the central angle, all right? Now, the only issue here is, again, we don't have the central angle, which in this case would be, let's see, this would be one end, this would be the other end, and then it would just run through the center of the circle, right? Something like that, all right? This is the central angle. So this is the angle that we want to look for. Okay, now in order to find this missing central angle, what we want to do here is find the measure of this arc in blue. Okay, the reason we want to find the measure of this arc is because the measure of an arc is equal to the measure of a central angle, All right? So for example, if this blue arc was 100 degrees, that means the central angle right here would be 100 degrees, right? But those are just random numbers. Let's actually figure out what the measure of this arc is. And to do that, we can use this inscribed angle that's missing, okay? Because an inscribed angle also has a relationship with the arc that it intersects. And that is that this angle is always half of whatever the arc is. Or another way you could think about this is that an arc is always twice as big as the inscribed angle. So if our angle is simply x, then we can label this arc as 2x, right? That's twice as big as just x, okay? So if the measure of this arc is 2x degrees, that means we can label this central angle right here as 2x degrees as well, all right? Now that we have something for our central angle, let's plug it into our formula, all right? So what do we know for our formula up here? Well, we're given the circumscribed angle, right? It's 30 degrees. So we can here, we could say 30 is equal to 180 minus the central angle, which we're gonna write as 2x. Okay, so to solve for x and isolate it, let's get rid of this 180, all right? So let's subtract 180 from both sides. 30 minus 180 is negative 150, and that's equal to negative 2x. And now to solve for x, we can get rid of this negative 2 by dividing both sides by negative 2. So here we get positive 75 is equal to just x, all right? So this missing angle right here, inscribed angle, 
is equal to 75 degrees. Boom. All right, here's the last problem that we're going to do. So again, we have a missing circumscribed angle here, and we're given this inscribed angle right here. Okay, so to find our missing circumscribed angle, again, we can just use our same formula right here. The circumscribed angle is equal to 180 minus the central angle. Okay, so in this case, again, we just need to find the central angle. So again, we can use this inscribed angle to find the measure of this arc right here. And then we can use the measure of the arc to find the central angle, right? So again, the measure of an arc is always twice as big as the inscribed angle. So if this is 73, well, if you double 73, you get 146. Right? So that means the central angle, and let's just draw in our circle right here, the central angle from here to here is 146 degrees also. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. So the circumscribed angle is missing, right? So we're going to say x is equal to 180 minus the central angle, which we know is 146. All right, so then here we could see that x is simply equal to 34 degrees. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.